Hey guys, the White Tux here, bringing you a how-to like basics in uh, Cinema 4D. Because I need to make uh, a 3D text for something, so um, I'm just I feel like doing a how-to video on it for my new channel. So first, you're gonna open up Cinema 4D, and you're gonna go to MoGraph MoTeX. It's for your basic like 3D text. You're gonna align it in the middle, and then type in whatever text you want. I'm gonna do White Tux for my purpose, so. You can type in obviously whatever you want. Now for depth, you can do anywhere from 60 to 80 is about usually the best without it looking dumb. I'm gonna do 75 for my once again for my purpose. And then font, you just go over here to font and look through all the cool fonts and just choose whatever one. Uh, once again, if it's what you're doing, so I'm gonna choose the one that I always do because it's kind of just like my signature one, I've always used it and everything. Um, okay, so let's see, and then I'm gonna, over here is where you move like this area, you can, all these will move everything. So I'm basically gonna line it right in the middle, and pull it out a little bit. Now these arrows will um, move your text like left and right and everything. Uh, so I just moved it up a little bit because I'm putting something underneath here. So now for a new color, you're going to go over here and you're just going to click it. And it's going to give you a uh, new mat. And then so over here, I'm going to change... Oh wait, crap. Uh, I'm going to change it to... I did this color recently and I liked it a lot. So I'm going to use it for this one. Okay, so and then what you're going to do is you're going to drag it onto here. And the whole... Here, let me move it the whole text is going to be blue now before I continue uh, when you're on the text um, there's something you can that's usually used because it's really it looks really good you go over here to caps and you make start the front uh, fillet cap and then you can do your back whatever I usually do either fillet cap or just cap I'll probably just do cap because we're not going to see the back anyways because I'm not making a video which I know how to I mean obviously I know how to do uh, Maybe I'll do a how-to later on that. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually control and drag this over and get a new one. I'm going to make it all white. And so um, now what I'm going to do is probably one of my favorite things to do because it just always makes the text look really cool. You're going to drag. So I dragged it, uh, the white on. So now it's all white. And you're going to drag the blue on. And so now you're going to have a white and blue. And, well, it shows a blue because you covered that over. So what you do is you click on this. And if you type in C1, it only colors the face. So now these little edges and everything else is white. That's one cool tip. I, 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 I almost always use that. Um, okay, so now that I've got it aligned. Uh, let's see what else what I do I want to show um so okay yeah so if you click on your your text your mo text one cool thing that I learned recently is if you hit C on your keyboard and you click the plus signs and then it'll bring you to white and tux uh, I'll do one for both but first for uh, this one now what you do is this allows you to individually control each letter so you can rotate them and stuff and do cool stuff with them but what I'm just gonna do is I'm going to move them in like this kind of like my uh, if you've been on my channel kind of like my um, my 3d background I just kinda like doing this it looks cooler when they're all like together instead of spaced out so we're gonna move this one over Yeah, I like this, so I'm gonna use it. Um, actually, you know what? Um, just to, for the sake of doing something different, I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this purple. So what? Like bring up? Yeah, hold on. Let's see. I'm trying to think of how to get the rich purple that I'm thinking. Of. There we go. It's a more of a dark. Yeah, looks better. I like that. 
Okay. So that move, that's how you move your letters individually. So I just made it kind of like almost like it's actually. Hold on, I gotta move this one over more. So it's actually like there, yeah, like that. Okay. There. So now you've got that. Um. And actually, now that I think about it, before you do anything, well. Actually, yeah. So if you, if you actually want to, like, I don't know if you guys are gonna save if you start working on something because you, if you're watching this, you're probably just learning. So actually, I probably won't show you how to have your save, your output settings, and your save and everything. Um. Let's see. So I'm trying to think. Okay. Another thing is you want this will give you your lights and camera. Two of my like the most important things. Your camera is gonna set where your shot's always gonna be, like where, like when you actually render it out. So where I am right now is where the camera set. This is where I want it. So you click on the white box, and that that's where it's always gonna be. Now watch if you unclick it, and you move it around to. Oops. Say if you want to like look at something. So I'm gonna go over here and say like I'm gonna look behind it. Hold on, it's being I don't know why, but. Um, so say if you want to look at the sides, I guess. But, as soon as you fix something, you want to go back to your camera. You just click that, and then it'll bring you right back to your camera. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to cut this, or end this video soon. Let's see, so, um, uh, what else should I show? Yeah, I mean, those are basically the basics. You have your Motex. Now I just split it up into all the like individual stuff, um, and then you can just like after you click on your text down here, you can just make it like however you want, like what like depth and like the edges and everything. This is what I've done. So I mean, there's plenty more things you can do. I'll probably make some other stuff, but um, this is just the basics. So basics num number one, or maybe make a number two and stuff. So. Thanks for watching.